arms or shoulders over your wrist and you're gonna curl your toes under. You're gonna lift your knees up and press your hips towards the sky. Notice I really was pressing through my arms. You want to use your back. You want to elongate the muscles, elongate the spine. And then eventually the heels will start to come down. I'm going to show you one more modification to downward dog. And this is pedaling the feet. So you're really getting the blood flow pumping into the calves and into the hamstrings. So again, you start with your hands and knees. Curl your toes under. Lift your hips up. You want to make sure your feet are about hip distance apart. And then you're going to begin to pedal. So you lift a foot up and then press down as you lift the other foot up. Another modification is you can bring the knees down and up. This is going to create blood flow to the hamstrings. As you come out of the pose, lower to the knees and either go back into child's pose or come to seated position. Next pose we're going to do, uh, we're going to use a strap or a yoga belt. But if you don't have one of these at home, uh, one of the best alternatives that I've found is a bathrobe belt, actually, or uh, a karate belt, or you can even just get a regular belt from your pants. Anything that will not have too much elasticity to it, so don't get those stretchy bands because then that's just not going to give you enough um, pull. You want to have, you want to be able to pull the belt so that you're getting a good stretch. Okay, so you're going to start with the belt. You're going to come to a seated position and extend your legs out in front of you. We're going to start with the right foot. So you're going to take the belt around the bottom of your right foot, and as you do that. Then you're going to lay back flat on your back, okay? We're going to begin with the first stretch as we raise the leg up in the air. Again, we're stretching the calf and the hamstring. So when you're in this pose, you're going to hold each position approximately 30 seconds, but I want you to really focus on flexing your foot. When you point your foot, you're not really getting a stretch in the back of the leg. So flex, bring the toes towards your head, okay? And make sure that you're comfortable where your hands are on the belt. I don't want you to create tension in the shoulders and the chest. So if it feels better to be higher up, that's fine. If it feels better to be lower with the belt, that's fine as well. Because what we're working here is not the upper body, it's the hamstring and the calf. Okay, so you're going to hold and make sure you're breathing in and out through the nose. And you'll begin to notice as you breathe and on your exhales, your 
your leg will begin to come back further and further. And then after your 30 seconds, you're gonna grab the belt with your right hand. You're gonna take your left arm out to the side and then you're gonna let your right leg open away from your body, which creates a stretch in your inner thigh on the right side. 